Hello, in today's Minecraft Essentials episode, I'll be showing you how to create your own server for Minecraft. So the first thing you need to do is to forward appropriate ports, the two TCP and UDP ports, for Minecraft in your router in order for your server to be hosted successfully so others can connect to it. Now, this is different for all kinds of routers, so I would highly advise you come to this website called portforward.com, I have a link to it below. Come to Minecraft server bit, choose your router and it will guide you through how to do that. The next thing is to come to minecraft.net and on the home page go into where it says already bought the game download it here click download it here and it will take you to this page the next step is to download the actual server file which we use to run in order for your sort of server to work now there are two downloads the first one is for windows and it's a server exe so it's microphone called server dot game version dot exe if you're running mac or linux or you want a non gui version there's a paragraph down here which tells you how to do that and to do it you have to download the jar version which is also linked here make sure the number after minecraft underscore server here is the same as the game version you'll be playing with as different game versions means that certain servers don't work with certain game versions and vice versa for this video i'll be working with the minecraft server dot exe in windows the next step is to put this exe in a folder this is because when we're about to run it it will create a load of files and a folder and you don't want that cluttering your desktop or anything so make sure you put this in its own folder the next step is to run the exe or whatever you're using i'm using the exe so you double click it it might say can you run it click run and it will load this gui and start loading a load of files you know it's done when there are two folders one called logs and one called build and there are five files most of which are text documents except for one which is called server.properties and obviously you have your exe which is already there and that is pretty much how you make your minecraft server now there is an optional thing you can do which I highly recommend doing anyway is opening this server.properties file with notepad or notepad++ and it will look like this and basically editing this to how you want it and to help fill us in come to this website on the Minecraft Gamepedia where it will tell you everything about all the different commands you can put in this uh, server.properties file and what to set them for whatever you want for example lambda flight what false intruders so when you're ready to play in your server with it running in the background you come to the multiplayer section of minecraft go to add server and for server address you use local host if you're playing off the same connection as the host is running on and that will say green here as so you can connect to it either that or use the external ip if you're running off a connection that's not the one that the game's been host mm. the game server's been hosted on which you can find at the top of the website port forward that we used at the start at the top right mm. An optional is if you want to use a custom world of your server, then what we do is you find your world, whether that be in your single player section or download from the internet. Uh, find your server files, find the folder called world, delete everything in that folder and replacing it with the files from the world you want to use instead. Okay, thanks, bye!